What's up, everybody? Muppet here, and yeah, today was pretty cool. Um, I went to ECC, you know, Ontario, California, just about 30 miles away from me, and um, got to hang out with some really cool people, um, which was like the main reason I went, honestly. You know, I mean, the convention was cool. It was cool, you know, but um, yeah, really, I just wanted to like hang out with, I got to hang out with um, Life of Apes, Nick Devine, um, Big Doc, DJ LSB um and don from adori liquid like probably about the nicest person i've ever met in my entire life like everybody always tells tells told me that that she's just like super cool and awesome in person and she just blew my mind she's just like probably the nicest person i've ever met in my life no doubt so yeah we had a great time um a lot of fun you know got some cool stuff most notably i got um the ijoy zenith this thing is freaking awesome. You know, I've been wanting a new mod and I've just been looking around and not really seeing too much that I was liking. Um, I had high hopes for the Aegis Legend. And honestly, I have some concerns. It's still a decent mod, but just there's like little things about, um, for me mostly, honestly, I don't think the battery life, I don't get as much battery life as I do with some of my other mods I've noticed. And the button, it's kind of like, you really gotta make sure you press it in or else, it doesn't fire and sometimes it seems like even when I'm hitting it it'll like kind of cut out for a second and come back I don't know yeah just the legend to me was kind of I don't know if I go camping or something I'll probably take it but it was a little bit it disappointed me a little bit but so far uh so honestly I just got this today so I can't really talk too much on it but I mean there's really not much to say it has a pentometer so you adjust it by the voltage it's got cool little lights and then they're green and then they kind of like turn a little yellowish tint when it starts to start, the batteries start to die down. And then um, I guess if you turn it up too high, it'll like, it has a safety and it'll cut off, you know, like the lights will turn red and it won't fire. Um, it's dual 2700, which the batteries come in the mod or with the mod, which is freaking awesome because I didn't have any 2700s. So, but it's just simple, man. It looks good, it's sleek, um, it fits really nice, the purple's awesome. Um, it's just awesome. I got the kit with the uh, tank. I'm not even sure what the tank's called, but um, so far I'm liking the tank. But I've only had it for a day, so I don't know how like how long the how the coils are gonna hold up and everything. But so far it's good. Get back to you on that. But yeah, I had a good time at ECC. Um, follow me on Instagram. I posted some pictures. There was one e-liquid company called a. Uh, Salty semen. <laughs> I got a picture with their sign. I didn't try their e-liquid, but it's probably I'm guessing. Oh, and if you didn't give it like that, you're you're but I just thought it was funny. I don't know. It just it just made me laugh. But anyways, we are here to do a review. We are gonna do a recipe review. I wouldn't lie to you. Um we are gonna be looking at West Coast Vape Expo Strawberry Ice Cream by Fresh. Um he made this for the West Coast Vape Expo. A lot of people tried it, everybody loved it. A few other people mixed it up. You know, and told me that I need to mix it up and try it. So I figured hey, I'm going to a convention. Might as well, you know, when the time is right. So, anyways, so I mixed it up. Um, let me show you guys the recipe. So here's the recipe. Like I said, West Coast Vape Expo Strawberry Ice Cream by Fresh. And the recipe reads: 0.25% Favora boysenberry, one and a half percent flavor art juicy strawberry, three percent capella lemon meringue pie, four percent. Um, liquid bar and vanilla ice cream and half a percent of favora vanilla pudding and yeah every time it was a shake and vape which i thought was kind of crazy so i did try it on this on the shake and i was like wow this is really good like off the shake i wonder how it'll steep out and so i've been steeping it for about a week and a half maybe two weeks and um it's changed a little bit the creams have kind of developed a little bit more but honestly it's pretty much a shake and bait you know which you know for a profile like this that's, that's pretty hard to do so yeah, actually really good off the shake. Um, it's not like a straight strawberry ice cream, you know. So if you're just looking for like a straight strawberry ice cream, um, this probably isn't going to be exactly what you're looking for. Because th that boysenberry and lemon and lemon meringue pie definitely come out. Um, you definitely get like kind of, you get mostly strawberry, but then you definitely get some like other notes that are, that, that still kind of go with strawberry but they're accentuated a little bit more um like the lemon you could actually kind of pick out and then the boysenberry just really takes that strawberry into more like a tart you know darker kind of strawberry which is really nice i mean it tastes really good 
but I'm just letting you know. So, you know, if you're looking for more like a bright, sweet, um, sweeter strawberry ice cream, probably not quite what you're looking for, but if you do like that tartness, you know, maybe more like a ice cream with strawberries in it. Maybe it's more, you know, I would say it's a little bit more like that. Um, as far as ice creams go, uh, you know, liquid barn vanilla ice cream is just great for that vanilla ice cream flavor. Um, but it doesn't quite have the body that you would want out of, you know, it doesn't have those heavy creams that you would want. So adding in, um, I mean, the vanilla pudding probably helps a little bit, but I'd say that lemon meringue pie really does kind of add in that wholeness that, that the liquid barn vanilla ice cream is missing, which is awesome. That was a great combination, uh, especially when you're using that, lem you know, lemon tends to really bring up other fruits, especially strawberries, one of them. And, you know, it all just, it just works together really well. Uh, I think you did an awesome job with this recipe. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four out of five. Um, it's nice, you know, strawberry, kind of like a strawberry and cream, but taking a little bit different a direction. Go ahead and stop taking a little bit different a direction, you know, Fresh is really good at kind of thinking outside the box and using, uh, using different layers and different accent notes of flavors and just, yeah, you nailed it, man. Good job, dude. Um, the hype is real. It's really good. I really enjoy it. So I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm doing pretty good. Had a great day. Until um, next time, eat, sleep, mix, repeat. I will talk to you all later.